Welcome back to an, another amazing episode of Live with Carisha. This is our special Atlanta King of Hip Hop Night. I need everybody in the building, even at the bar. I don't even care if you're a waitress. If you got two hands, put them together for one of the longest running, dopest rappers in Atlanta, oh. Justin, aka Young Rock in a motherfucking hot piece of life. Yeah. 14 years in the game, man. Make some noise for him one more time, y'all. This is a <laughs> It's called legendary. It's called legendary. It's called icon status. It's called goat status. It's called never giving up. It's called building a, a dope respect for people from people in the industry. Like, welcome to the show, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, how are you? I'm great. So let's start with an icebreaker question. Has a mainstream rapper ever reached out to you for a collab, but you turned it down because you didn't like him when that music was whack as fuck? Nah. <laughs> so humble with it. Nah. I, I, even though it was wacky fuck, I probably did. I just, you never know, but wack shit be big shit sometimes. So. Facts, facts. That's true. That's true. Start by talking to us about your earlier days um, before you were going your accolades growing up back in Atlanta, Cleveland Avenue. What was childhood life like? Uh, it was, I had a um, normal child life, you know. It was rough sometimes, good sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It was great sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I had uh, my mom, my stepdad was already there, always there, you know, I had my real dad. He passed, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't ever there, but you know, I still, that's still my dad, but my stepdad, he played the role. And you know, I had a hard working mama, you know what I'm saying, who always knew that I was gonna be somebody, so you know what I'm saying? I just continued on what she had, don't put in me. You no, know, Cleveland Avenue, we moved to Cleveland when I was, I was young, like, like, I'm like, sound, making place, I've been over there ever since, even when my mama moved to the west side, I still was on Cleveland Avenue every day, Marlboro. The notorious Cleveland Avenue. Yeah. What's, okay. Why do you, you call it notorious? Because I hear so much stuff about Cleveland Avenue, yeah, you like. You believe everything you hear, like, it's a lot of signs on Cleveland, that's a lot of stuff on Cleveland. Wait, how Cleveland. far down does Cleveland run? Like, is it like a it low? It ain't even about how far it runs. It's, it just, it ain't bad on Cleveland Avenue. It's just, the people you might know might be bad on Cleveland Avenue. Yeah, what you did, talk about it. You know, it's all, uh, nah, but you know, it's just like it runs about, but it ain't notorious though, like that. Okay, nah. okay. It's I definitely popular though. Yeah, need work, dog. Come to Cleveland now. Put a pin in well. That's for y'all, Hey! <laughs> you better be <laughs> giving us a bar. Yeah. So that one of them old classic though. We love it. At what point in your life did you jump off the porch and like start getting it for yourself? Man, how about 15? I was working at Wendy's, and um, I hope I'm good trouble for this, but I had stole some money from them. They had me working. I was bagging groceries, and then the lady and them, the, the lady and them, used to like them because I was a little cool little dude going to school. So the safe, they ain't had no dough on the safe. So she told me to change the track one night, and I was like, uh, shit. I was like, I told her I changed the track. So you know how you throw the bag out and make the bag blow up. Yeah. I made it blow up and I just throw whatever I could in the bag. And I looked, she wasn't looking still. But then when I looked up, I seen the damn counter. So I was like, damn. But I went in the back, hid the money. The next day, the police was out there, but I'm thinking they out there for me. But they was out there because the camera didn't work and they knew the money was missing. So they were like, somebody stole some money and the cameras wouldn't work. So he getting the cameras beat. So I jumped up like a goddamn good kid. <laughs> That was my first bankroll and I went in. That was, was your like, first bankroll? Yeah, yeah, that was my ten thousand dollars. I, I went in the bathroom at my mama's house. I counted that shit so much so many times. <laughs> I'm so, okay. <laughs> Super come up. Whoa, whoa. Your first bankroll. You, yeah. you okay, that's that's definitely a story. What did you spend it on? Nothing. Shoes, clothes, nothing. And a look, I, and, and, and. And then when they showed me like money, like come, like you got to treat it like something, cause it'll treat you like nothing if you treat it like nothing. And I started like I ain't, I wasn't fucking up no money like that after that. Mm. You mean you wasn't like spending it recklessly nah, after that? Nah, I still was having fun, but I had learned like more early by being around older people in the hood, and mm -hmm. my uncle and them, and people that had money. Like let me know, like you were tripping, you just had that was your blessing right there, like and you just. And I'm like, Damn, Spent it all crazy. Yeah. How old were you? 
I'm 15. Oh my God, you probably went to high school and next day like I'm Big Meech. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah, South Atlanta. <laughs> South Atlanta High School. Well, what would you say is like your best childhood memory from, I'm gonna say it again, the notorious sleep. <laughs> what would you say is your best childhood memory from being out there? Um, best childhood memory just, just being out there on Cleveland, like, it, it's so many memories over there. My best one probably, uh, Probably Cleveland Avenue day when, when I pulled up there. When I first got my deal, I had pulled down, I had two scripts. I had two scripts in my for the whole hood. I went down there, I probably sold about $10,000, $12,000 down there that day. What? Yeah. That's insane. And look, I was the first person too in Atlanta too. When Katrina had hit, I was the first person to a family $10,000 cash out my pocket too. And they, 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 they Coco brother did a little dedication to me on the radio, right? What? But then other bigger rappers came and started putting more money out to me, right? And then mine got faded away. <laughs> but I was the first real nigga now. Took, took, took a family ten thousand dollars. Real talk out my boy. Yeah, I gave them, I met the family they set up the radio station called me. I told them, no, nah, I ain't getting I ain't getting y'all my money. I'm gonna pull up on them people that's and see if they really need my money. Wow. And when I pulled up, they was in a minivan like Eight people closed their well. I gave the lady the money. She was like, she couldn't believe it. I was like, she, I, she, I wish somebody would do me like that. If I, if my family was going through that, so I did. Facts. You know Facts. That's a blessing. So you drove down there? Hell no. Nah. She met me at the Chevron on the federal prison. The Chevron across the street from the federal prison. You ain't going to. No, they ain't going to. 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 They was oh, that's right, they did have to break the They were here trying to get yes. that off, FEMA and all that stuff. They right, were, right, here. I remember. So you may pull up to this yeah, Chevron. Yeah, I met the Chevron. <laughs> Come in and get this thing. <laughs> Real nigga, I love that. That's so dope. Let's go back to 2016 um, on Man Big Amount Remix. I got a lyric quote from you. Been killing these niggas 10 years, but it feel like I'm just coming out. Do you feel as if the game has gave you your flowers for all that you have contributed? Yeah, no. Damn. He ain't even let me finish. <laughs> but I don't worry about stuff like that, though. That's why I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? This shit about how long you last and this shit. Like, you know, money come and go. Everybody get money. Everybody do that. That ain't, that ain't shit. Like, mm -hmm. every time, that's why everybody, everything's so fucked up. Cause everything go about money. Everybody get money. Everything about money. I don't give a fuck. What the conversation be? Somebody gonna switch the well, the money, uh, People argue about other niggas' money all day. Who got the most money? Mm. You know, shit like that all day. Like, man, that shit ain't about shit. You know what I mean, like, it's about how long you last with the money. Longevity. Yeah, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So, back to just to piggyback off of that. So, you you don't feel like the people of Atlanta, you feel like the city hasn't given you your flowers? Or, like. Nah, I just be like, you know, I'm so real, right? So, people like. You know, people tend to like follow trends and do like go where they see a lot and follow, you know, Instagram 60 seconds a long time to trick somebody. Facts. So people people be fooled out that shit. Message. People, I be really living like in real life. I don't be caring about what folks think about me on that shit or what they do. I know I'm harder than a lot of people that get booked that shows. I know my shit be lit for real. Facts. I know I don't did more than a lot of folks who get crowned and I just be like the fuck did they do? But I, it ain't my position to speak on that. I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. And one, it don't matter about the ones who don't. Once the right person recognize, like they always do, that's all that matter. Like uh, a thousand folks that say fuck you, long as one and point folks say. Breeze, we love to see it. So as long as you've been going like in the city, do you feel like there's been people like haters that try to like hold you down and like keep their like foot on you from coming up? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm good at what I do, I'm, I'm, but I don't act like it. I act like I'm regular. I know I'm, I don't do regular. I act like a regular person. I'm gonna do, I shrink myself to make a person that ain't got or doing what I'm doing feel like we just alike because I don't like making nobody around me feel like I'm bigger. That legend shit, I tell all my buddies, you can ask them, don't call me that. I don't like that word, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a legend's like, they, they all die and shit. Like, when they say, I ain't dead, we still doing it. Y'all my bros, like, y'all y'all gotta look at me no different as no rapper or no celebrity. I'm, I'm y'all buddy, but I know who I am. As long as I know who I am, they know who I am. So, I don't like that shit, like, but that's what's going on. Sometimes I feel like, well, should I act like that? They might treat me different if I 
but they don't treat me fucked up. It just they just got them do fake shit, and I don't, you know, the gang ain't full of fake shit. You know what I mean? But I'm one of the ones I don't know how to do that. Even sometimes when I be like, you know what, I'm gonna kick it with a nigga. How they kick it with me? I don't know how to do that. Mm. I, let me, I, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Let me pick. I be wanting to do it. I always get That's mad. That's how I was actually like I get migraines every day when I, man, fuck that and I get with it. I help the same motherfucker that I know wouldn't give me a dime. Like, was there ever a thought in your head when you was like, maybe I could be like more mainstream if I fake the funk and play like that, that game of, yeah. Yeah. I talk to my people about that every day. I know, I know that, but get with it. It might ain't, it might ain't meant for me to be mainstream how others want me to be mainstream. I know I'm mainstream. My family think I'm mainstream. They Thanks. feel like I'm mainstream. My mama think I'm mainstream. You is mainstream. So I don't be down with the other people who think that ain't no point of me down. That ain't gonna help me get shit in a way. So right. it's just no pain. Even though, even what I'm saying though, I even have to still learn this every day because I go through it. But I be learning like that shit ain't, it just, it's just no pain. Everybody got that. You know what I'm saying? Doc? The more, it's just like, a lie gonna stretch farther than the truth, no matter what the situation is. That's Facts. Just how it goes. Facts. Talk to us about the the Jug Me and Young Ralph transition. Like, overall, what was the reason for the name change? Because you know, like I said, y'all know I'm from Philly, so I'm I have been schooling myself on the Atlanta hip hop culture. But like, at first you were Young Ralph, but then you went to Jug Me. So why was the name change? What was that about? Uh, cause Young Ralph, like you know, that's young. You know, of course, I don't grow up. I'm, I'm older now. I don't learn way more than I know when I was young Ralph. I do ways different business than I used to do when I was young Ralph. I don't do the same shit, you know. Young Ralph was a guy that we speaking on that. That's why I know all the shit I know now. That's why I learned. Like I used to be that jump for everybody like features, do anything like and I learned. I still can do that, but I'm a hand pick who I do that for. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I got I got probably more features. I probably the only rapper got featured with people that you don't even know. And you'll hear some shit in the club, be like, how they gonna buy they gonna, how you get rough on that too? I'm just a real nigga. Ain't so Jug was like the elevation yeah, it's step. Like, yeah, it's like, I, I, I'm cutting this out, I'm going back to, like, I'm gonna do it the right way, just to, to get what I deserve out of it. Because I know that what I, if I do this, they gotta do this. But if I just keep playing this real role, I don't wanna be the realest no more. I just wanna be me. I don't, don't, I don't wanna be the realest. The realest don't get rewarded. Just let me be me. Don't keep putting me in the realest. Cause get what? They gonna come to you because you the realest. They gonna come to you because you the cheapest. They think, nah, hell nah, I'm one of them. So treat me like one of them. I'm the highest now. So when folk call me now, a lot of folk be thinking I'm tripping. I, I say some shit that I know that they, I, I know that they not gonna pay. Get what I, guess what? Because they ain't never fuck with me anyway. So what is gonna hurt me not to do it? Facts. I like that. So, yeah, praise. How has it been literally growing together and continuously working with like the dopest producer in Atlanta, Zay Tobin Beats? You knew it was coming. Shout out, Zay. Shout out, Dish. Zay, Zay, my brother. I tell you who is Zay and him and Joe. I love him. Yeah, but, like, Zay, my brother. Zay like, Zay, like my brother for real. Like, for real, for real. Oh, we know. Y'all been going. Y'all been going since I moved to the city. I've seen y'all together. Since his mama basement. So, yeah. so talk to us about your relationship. Like, can you hit him up at any time for a beat? I can hit him right now. He's going to pick up. I can FaceTime him right now. He's going to talk on the interview. You can FaceTime him right now. I dare you. I double dog dare you. FaceTime Zay Tuma Beats right now in my interview. What is that beat? So I can't FaceTime Zay Tuma. So we're going to see if Zay Tuma is going to pick up on this FaceTime. And we're all going to see what's up, Zay, if you pick up. This is exclusive. Then they're gonna pick up. We gonna see. If he don't, he gonna call right back. If he don't, he gonna call right back. I'm cracking up. That's what's up. We can move on to he calls. Let's back. move on to he call back. So, what would you say has been some of the necessary steps you had to take to build such a solid level of respect in your hometown of Atlanta? Yeah, remain loyal, mm. remain yourself. Don't get too big. Don't go big on the ones that started with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 go big. Cause what's up and come down, what down come up. But like, go more in depth, cause like, you're cool with everybody in the city. Like, you I don't know, think that, you that, know that. Yeah, I, I fuck with everybody. I don't get talk. I don't I don't get in people beef. I don't get in people business. I don't do that shit. Like, 
when when two people that's beefing that I know, and I'm, I'm that's why I can do that because I ain't gonna talk about that shit. I'm gonna I'm say if I say anything, get what I might say. Oh, I ain't even know that. Oh, damn, I thought y'all were brother. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to de-escalate shit. Like they just be, I don't be with that trying to real shit up a one-sided or swap game over here over there. I don't do that. I'm just I fuck with everybody. Have you ever fell out with somebody and then y'all was cool again? Like somebody influential in the hip hop industry up here out here? Yeah, I don't fell out. Like I don't not. Yeah, no, we have our little argument. No, but we brothers though, so true. That's my man. And we don't fall out, we just he just cuss me out, cuss his ass out. He probably cuss me out him right now. No, rest true. in peace of trouble. That's my brother. That's school. He had a real conversation with me three days before he passed. That's my kind of my house brother, like that's my nigga brother. We loved him. We were working on getting him in the hot seat like yeah, days so before he went to, the to heaven. He one of the ones would have came to the hot seat. Yeah, we was we literally had him. And then God called him home. Like, how do you feel about the violence that goes on out here? The senseless killings, the loss of so many dope rappers in the industry. Once again, shout out the trouble. We love you. Like, crazy. It come from the leaders, man. Like, the people who are in position. Like, they really like, you know what I'm saying? It like, we we started, even me, like, I don't rap about just violence and shit like that, though, killing nobody and shit like that. I really rap about fun and get some money and some hell shit like that. But if people like real these kids up thinking that they can do what they do because they got money, these kids don't got no money. These kids don't even know what a game thing and shit is. Really. So they just think, if they see it in the video, that's all they see now. Why you think they put all this shit on the radio now? All the shit on TV now that went on TV call. They know what they gonna follow. Everybody follow what they think is good or hot. Mm -hmm. Nobody don't got their own brain no more. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. The more they see something, the more folks wanna do what somebody else wanna do. I always stay in my own lane. Sometimes I feel like that shit be holding me back, but then I be like, you know what? Fuck that. Stay it stay it keep me out of a lot of trouble and keep me away from a lot of shit and it keep me out of a lot of shit. Facts. What would you say is the wildest shit you ever seen in Atlanta? Like, I was on this Instagram page the other day. I seen some wild stuff, like... Boosie Page. <laughs> <laughs> Boosie Page, the wild shit I be seeing in Atlanta. <laughs> he make Atlanta folks do more shit than with Boosie Page. I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> he do be tripping. He be tripping. Boosie be doing his thing on that motherfucker. When you leveled up and got to the bag, like, did you stop going back to your hood? Do you still, like, go to your hood every now and again and, and check in? Or do you, like, stay in your mansion all day? Man, I, I always be in the hood more than I be in my mansion. <laughs> I be in the I love it. I never not. I, I got the same news with me before I had some money, when I got some money, when I lost the money, when I got it back. <laughs> they be the same nigga with me, man. I ain't never switched my son, my nigga, like, never. I ain't never went to this crew, that crew, that crew, that. I been with the same nigga my whole career, like, Cleveland Avenue. I be around, and I go fuck with who I fuck with in the city, but I been in my same area now. I don't even be, at, be real. When I do go to my house, I be I, I, I be so bored, I call them niggas out there with me. <laughs> Let's that go to the hood. That's why I, I built a studio in my shit. Like, I built a studio in the basement and don't even record in that motherfucker because I don't like being at the house. You know what I'm saying? I'll crack it up. So what about the DJ? Shout out to all the DJs in Atlanta. Shout, shout out to all, all the, the DJ DJs. chapters, coalition DJs. Like, it's a lot of dope DJs out here. Yes, do you feel like them. they've been supportive of Oh, yeah, DJ love me. I love the DJ. DJ always going to support me. I don't be supporting. I don't be supporting. Point up by getting them a little music, they be mad at me. Like, real talk, some of the biggest DJs be mad at me. And some of them owe me a lot of favors, though. I done did a lot, I done did a lot, a lot, a lot of favors. Tell us one. Uh, Tell us one that won't get you in trouble. That won't get me in trouble? Yeah. Well, I did a, a whole tape for somebody, and the tape made over a couple million dollars, and I didn't get a dollar off of it. No. No, and let me tell y'all something else. What? I got, I always had, I always had a, uh, I always had a, a, a mansion for real. I always had a nice car. I always took care of my family. And I still never to this day got one rap check. You did? Never got paid. I heard about I that. Like, how? Sway? How? I, I, I was fucked out all that money that, that they thought I made off the rap. I got out of grinding shows, features, and still live like I got all of them. You know what I'm saying? Well, walk us through that. Like, when you say you never made a, do a dollar off your music, the like. was like. The, the business, I was I was too focused on the, the, the fame and shit when I was young rap, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I was just, oh, I look like money, bricks, I'm I'm doing Zay, me, Gucci, I'm with, I'm, I wasn't even thinking about the mailbox money, the corporate money. Mm. 
like the screaming money, the ringtone money, all this shit. The mechanical royalties, I wouldn't think about none of that shit. What about paid shows though? Was you getting paid shows? Uh, hell yeah, I got a 30,000. Hell yeah, I okay. was getting a lot of paid shows. I still get them, but that ain't got, when that slow up, that's the reason for the other money. That's right. what you working for. That's like, that's the real, the show money shit ain't, they want you to get that. That's why they, that's why so many shows. Yeah. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. You know how much money? You know how much money they owe me? Bought my ride with Thug and Birdman. How much? I ain't gonna tell you. What? It's a whole lot of zero. Damn. The song got over three hundred billion streams. Damn. I said B. That but one song got a five hundred fifty that I ain't paid for. Mm. And all that went on the way. I got a good lawyer. I know, that's right. I was going to say, it's not too and late. He, and he white. And he, mm. and he white, too. And he's from New York. And he's from New York. Shout out to the white lawyers from New yeah. York. Coming through it. Don't say your name, because they're going to get on you and start No, we're not. Yeah, facts. No, we're going to keep that to ourselves. What, yeah. other, what other business ventures have you tapped into? Like, I don't try to tap into a couple of them. That's what I be mad at myself about. Like, me and my buddy don't talk about it all day. Like, I ain't never, like, do. I don't mess with the couple of Nothing that really like that I should have invested in. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was the point. Now I have a son. I got two daughters, but I don't have a son. Like, I'll be like, damn, I gotta go 20 times harder because he got 18 more years. Like, it's like, Facts. but if I would have had to build it right, I wouldn't have had to go get no new lawyer. I wouldn't have had to do all this. I would have had to, all this already set up for them, and I could just sit back and be in a hot seat, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That shit loaded already. You know, we doing it, but you know what I'm saying? But, it, it worked it though. Like at the end of the day, one thing about it, you can't point no finger at nobody when you're grown. You just gotta stand on that shit and change that shit. Mm. That's the only thing about it. The only way you're gonna lose is if you put. Facts. Facts. Make some noise for the goat one time, y'all. It's a vibe. It's a vibe to me. So, what's in your favorite collab of all time? One of my favorite. I got a couple of them. Oh, uh, you can give, give us your top three favorite collabs. I feel like I know what you want to say, but like, wouldn't it? I played the Armor Ride with Thug and Bird, man, one of my favorites. Okay. Fade the Walk. Okay, yeah, that was dope. That was dope. And the Brick with Yo Got in Group. Of course, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh my, that's that's my top one. I, w I was going backwards, but we know that. We're on the same page. You got to thank me, Gucci. And got it. They Jesus show Rock Man, y'all went hell. Young Fresh. Can we get all of them in the hot seat? Can you bring all of them to the hot seat and we do this one more time with you and all of them? I wish I could. That would be so goddamn fire. That would be crazy. So, what's been your favorite highlight of being a music artist throughout your 14 year reign with your foot on people next? Um, just being able to uh, live a life out just making some word around and ain't got to do nothing else. Like crazy or no crazy shit like that. Just, like, you really can live a life out just really making words around it. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I don't understand how some folk get so much money and you want to be crazy after the money. Shit, you don't made it to the money. No, baby, you got to chill. <laughs> Shit, the money here. You know what I'm saying? But it's just being able to just got them get money out of what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, without having to got them go kiss nobody ass or work, do this and do that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We ain't working for nobody. So I, I, I loved your vlog you did. Let me get it right. It was the um the Atlanta Zone 3 vlog, and you were talking about how much you've been through. You never asked for help. And you said one thing that really stuck out for me. Everybody got a number. Everybody not meant to rap. Amongst some other goat talk you said throughout the vlog, but what advice do you have for, like, new school artists that's trying to get their music out there? Like, because... You know, honestly speaking, like we said in the in the past interview, everybody is not going to get a deal. And there's so many artists that want to be rappers, want to get their music heard, want to even make it to your level of success. Like, what advice can we give to them? You got to stay at it. Like, everybody ain't going to make it. Like, it's so, because it's so many. You know what I'm saying? It's people that really can sing that or rather rap because they think singing ain't cool no more. What? Yeah, the people that really not to sing that won't sing because they, you, they like, I know everybody won't be rappers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody won't be, ain't nothing wrong with that though, you know what I'm saying? But it's like people, because some people think they hard in they hood and they people tell them they hard, they feel like they are celebrities. It's like, it's different now. Like if, if a couple of people tell you, but you, you, you it, they think they it. When it take a lot of shit to be it. And it, it's just a lot of people that's it for real. Even me, it, it's, it's level to this shit, you know what I'm saying? So. You can't just get in this shit thinking it's gonna happen overnight. This shit takes grind. Some some people it might do happen overnight for, but 
for the most part, you got to be out here grinding for this shit. Like, Facts. really do shit you don't want to do. You got to talk to the people you don't want to talk to. Facts. You got to smile at people you don't want to smile at. You got to do all that. It's a part of just going through the process. What's the, what's the shadiest thing you've seen in the industry so far? No more taking my money. Mm. But you might have to get that back though. You shout out to our white lawyer from New York. That's gonna help us get to the bag. No, you know, when you got a white man by your side, you gonna get some money, especially no, if you're no, Jewish. No, don't 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 shit I seen though, it be a lot of shady shit. I don't even be, I don't even be getting to it. Okay. A lot of shady shit. All right, let's take it in a different direction then. What are you? What's your thoughts on the female rappers in the rap game, and particularly like? Like how much they have to go through behind the scenes with harassment and people trying to take advantage of them in the studio and all the stuff we got to go through, what they got to go through to get their music heard. I ain't never been through that with, with no female rapper. Like, I don't, so I be, when I be hearing it, I be shocked for real. Not being, I don't be, I don't, some of it I don't even believe, but you got to think, like not being funny, like some, some, some people might be real, but some girls be won't. It just it turn out to probably the way they thought in the end. When whatever happened, probably the feature didn't get done. Now it's well this and I, I, it be a lot of other shit beside what what a person say after the fact too. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say I don't know though, like but at the end of the day a man gonna be a man, but when it comes to bidding, I don't be going through that in the studio like with with with, with no female. I be in the studio with a lot of female though, but I don't be, we just be cool. Yeah, you don't, you don't be, be on, on the creep vibes. Nah, hell nah, I ain't gonna be on no creep vibes. That's good. So let's get a little political. Right now, you're an Atlanta native, and right now we're on another race, another governor race with um, Stacey Abrams, who's running against Brian Kemp. Hopefully she makes the position, but like, as somebody who's lived in Atlanta as long as you have, what's your thoughts on the political scene? The people in office, our lead, leaders from the mayors to the, the governor to the the city council members, do you feel like they are doing a good job to run the city? Like, what would you want to see more of? What would you want to see less of? Man, like, they don't even be together. The people be beefing like the street people. <laughs> they don't even be together. They don't even be showing leadership. They be tweeting and using Instagram and stuff against each other. They do the same. They might be like all the same, same thing, different. They. That shit, when they talk about talk, that shit talking in the political shit, all this shit, the same thing. It's just different how your power people doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I be like, I stay out that shit. Mm. I, I, I just politic with my buddy. <laughs> Period. But wait, wait, okay, so just so you don't feel, do you feel like Atlanta is being ran? Like, Nah, I don't think, I think it's just being, it just being, it just being ran by people who just feel like anybody say I. I wanna run, I'm gonna run this year. It be people that I know be saying, I'm running for mail. I'll go, I be like, how the fuck? I did for real, like, like people who I know ask, and I'm like, I, and it be like, they be doing, they be in the position that they can actually run for any positions. I be like, this shit different now. Like, it's the people that's in power, like letting other people in power who they know gonna lead the wrong people in power. That's mm. why it's like that. Would you ever run for mayor? Yeah, no. I think you'll be a dope mayor of Atlanta. Nope. No? What's your upcoming projects? What are you doing? What are you giving the culture? We got a few more months. Well, the summer's over. It's fall now. It's about to be 2023. What's well, your plans? I'm going to drop this in like seven oh, days. Oh, we got new music coming. I got, a lot of new music. I got like 10 projects already written. Like 20 videos. I just don't be, they, they cut. I got, I'm like, it's been a drop though. I got a lot of shit. Who, like who's on your project? Got like Drew. Shout um, out to Drew. Well, that's trouble. Shout out trouble. Rest in peace, trouble. Um, what's that got? I got a lot of people on my shit. You you work with any female artists or no? Yeah, I got. I work with a couple people. Man, Johnny Pope, man, Johnny Blake Pope been doing something. Um, Shout out to Johnny. Uh, well, I like. I, was, man, I need to get in. I want to get in a lotto. Big lotto. Yeah, Yo, lotto we hard. need a jug in lotto collab. Yeah, lotto. I got one for lotto too. I swear to God. You do. You got a yeah. box for her. We I got. got a, I got one for lotto. Just for lotto. You got to tap in with her manager. Yeah, I know. You know. I know. I, I, I know how to get into. I, I know how to get into it. Well, yeah, we know how to get into it. If I don't, I get into it. Well, I know somebody that know how to get into it. Well. Facts. We love to see it. Y'all ready for high seat questions? Say yeah. yeah. You ready for high seat questions? Yeah. <laughs> high seat question: of Lava Kamisha and Jigman. Would you rather make out with Janet Jackson or go to a Lakers game with Barack Obama? Janet Jackson. What would your porn name be if you were filming with Pinky and Superhead? 
Say that again. What would your porn name be? What would you call yourself? What would your porn star name be? You were doing a dope scene with Pinky and Superhead. Y'all had handcuffs, whips, chocolate, a circle bed, cameras all over the place, mirrors on top of the ceiling. Big Jewel. <laughs> Emphasis on me. <laughs> Tell me something strange about you. I put ice on my cereal. You put ice on your cereal? Yeah. They say that weird. I don't know why it's weird, but I put ice in my cereal. That's weird. How does it you want it really like my, cold? I like my milk cold. Put the milk in the freezer. That's what I used to do. I don't want to freeze the milk. Oh, I don't want the milk to be cold. I used to freeze it and make it like slushy, and then that's when I ate my Cocoa Puffs. Now that's weird. That's like fall milk. <laughs> no, no, I just had to get... <laughs> What's the most exotic pet you will own? Say it again. What's the most exotic pet that you will own? Pet. Mm-hmm. Oh, my band dog, Hancho. Hancho. Yeah. Shout out to Hancho. Casamigos or Henny? Casamigos. Have you ever ran down on somebody inside the trap? No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, answer that, damn. Again. Have you ever ran down on somebody in the trap? You what did. What do you mean, like? Ran, no, like ran up on somebody, like if, if somebody owe you money and he on the corner oh, in yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. You did run down on somebody? Yeah, not not yeah. We do that. We just talk. <laughs> I did. We just talk. Who is the hardest female rapper out right now? I say, uh, I like Nikki. Okay. Okay. I like me. Tell us you're from Atlanta without telling us you're from Atlanta. <laughs> I'm from zone three. That works. BBL or natural body? Natural body. Spend the night with the Kardashians or smoke a blunt with Snoop Dogg? Smoke with Snoop Dogg. Do, do you watch sports? Yep. Are you into threesomes? I will be. <laughs> what do you mean you will be? I'm sorry. I like I, 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 yeah. If the opportunity presents. <laughs> Who's your favorite? What would you get ready to say? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you could have a threesome with any two girls, who would it be? I wouldn't know. Nick and Meg. Nicky and who? Meg. Oh, Meg. Okay. That's a dope one. Who's your favorite Florida rapper? Ross and Kodak. Tell us the freakiest thing you ever did in the bedroom to somebody. You can't plead the fifth either. It is a hot seat for real. I got you. I got you, bro. Oh. Um. Say it again. Tell us the freakiest thing you ever did to somebody in the bedroom. Uh, I don't know. I, I used to sneak and watch stuff in the movie when I was young, so I know how to do stuff. Oh. I know how to do stuff, man. Okay. Like, what you mean, though? What you used to sneak and watch? I tell you, hey, I know how to do what I need to do. Okay, okay. Spoken like a true vet. I don't, I, no, come on, what's the No, 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 because you, you see, I, I think you wanted to enlighten us with something. What would you get ready to say? I was going to say, I don't listen to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you listen to R&B music? You, I can see on yeah. your face you want to say something. Yeah. You did some freaky shit, huh? To my R&B music. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a great night. American Deli or Wingstop? Wingstop probably my boy Rossi. Who is the baddest female artist in the game right now? It's a lot of them. You can pick two. 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 I say Lotto. I gotta go with it. Okay. Okay. How much do you spend a week on weed? I don't know. I don't know. I spend, I don't know. I'd be high here. <laughs> Would you rather kiss me on the cheek or give me a hundred dollars? 
Mad Abby, Black, he's on TV. I don't know when I, I don't know, I need a hundred dollars. I want to on the TV. I don't know what this is. I don't know, I don't. I love it. He's so confused. What would you want, the hundred dollars or you want to kiss my wife? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. You would kiss me, you would kiss the diva on the cheek? I would, that would be like, a, right? If you kiss me on the cheek, that's historical. Like, Jug Man kiss me on the cheek? Are you fucking serious? I don't, I'd rather have the kiss on the cheek. I don't want the money. Alright, uh, I kiss you on, I kiss on the cheek. Oh my God. History has been made. History has fucking been made. I am now, bitch. Plug in your social media links. Where can everybody follow you at? At Jug Man ENT. J U U G M A N E N T. Our king of Atlanta hip hop tonight, Jug Man in the hot seat. Follow him on all platforms. You know where to follow me at. At Carisha Dib, bringing you the best interviews in everywhere. At Carisha Dib, everyone at home stay fabulous, stay blessed. Peace. Absolutely.